so early and, and, uh, and finish up your training here? Just to get uh, a time adjusted and acclimatized, to be honest, you know, short notice, so it's hard to get a time zone. Everyone's um, asleep right now where I'm from, um, so I've been here like a couple weeks now, so I'm just time zone, which is good. Yeah. And what about training here at Extreme Couture? How, why was this the uh, the right spot for it? We're training here. We did a couple of here, but we've been training at a UFC gym down where we were staying, so only about five minutes, not even that, two minutes from where we are staying, so yeah. What kind of partners have you brought in? Kind of any special partners? Anything special for you know Brock Lesnar? Obviously, being a, a big you know wrestler the way he is. I just got some local guys with me and just training the normal stuff, training, just getting in shape, and that's it. Yeah. How excited are you for this opportunity? You mentioned that you know you said it. This doesn't do anything for your rankings. He's not ranked, but it is a, a big fight. This is a big card. I mean, is this exciting for you? It is exciting. It's good for my stock as a fighter, and um, it's great because uh, you know a lot more people would watch it. Normally, you know, because of Brock Lesnar, so yeah, he's a big name in sport. How did this come across? Can you tell us the story of uh, how you were notified of uh, what it was? Was my employer said, Mark, you've got to fight on this date, and I said, Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you, you uh, didn't, uh, you know, ask for the fight. Did you want to specifically be on UFC 200? They just came to you out of the blue and it was already decided it was Lesnar, yes, so it is. Boy says work boy and I said yes boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of simple so yeah. Were, were you uh, were you excited that uh, there was going to be less of Well I didn't really care to be honest it, like I said it does nothing for my rankings but I actually thought he was retired or sick or something but um, you know it's good it's cool. When he was fighting did you ever uh, think that you would be fighting him in the future and, uh, and think about how you would fight a guy like him? I mean, he's pretty much the same like every other guy I wrestler, so it's, it's, you know what I mean, the same two arms, two legs, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> people, you think people undervalue your takedown defense? I think a lot of people are saying, you know, this guy can't put you on your back, but you feel like some people undervalue how good your takedown defense is? I think because of the, the Stipe fight that um, people got a, a different idea about it, but uh, that's cool, you know? <laughs> that's cool about that idea, it's great, keep that idea. A lot was made of your comments about you know the fact that he got that drug test exemption. Is that something that, that really bothers you? Or was that maybe something taken out of context? Yeah, I don't know. I think it. Uh, uh, I don't really care. You know, at the end of the day, everything, everyone should be on a level playing field, to be honest. But uh, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, you know, it's just going to be a fight anyway. So it's going to be a good fight, and I'm looking forward to uh, to why not. But does it concern you at all? Like thinking, man, this guy was cheating. We don't know that he was, but that he had the possibility that he could have been cheating. Does it bother you? Well, man, I've been fighting cheaters my whole career, so you know, I'm always a cheater. The thing is, with you, when you're caught cheating, so to speak, that means that you got to look back in your life and the accomplishments you've done and said, did you really do them, or was it the cheating that did it? Hey, man, not that's that's on them. It's not up on me at all. So you know, that's uh. I can't control what they be doing. Is that something? Do you think that'll be a black spot on the on the sport uh, with the with that? Well, money talks these days, man. I don't care if you're cheating or not. I'll punch your face in. That's all I got. <laughs> so <laughs> steroids doesn't uh, keep the fist from hitting the face. Well, pretty much. I mean, shucks. Like I said, I've been I've been battling with cheaters my whole career, so it doesn't matter. You, uh, I know ultimately you want to make another title run. Do you have a prediction of how things are playing out? Are you starting to think of Because there's a lot of big heavyweight fights coming up. Have you thought about the roadmap and how you get to a title fight? No, I just, uh, all I'm thinking about is winning and then going to Disneyland. That's all I'm thinking about. If I win the fight, then then that's next. And then another fight on the path. So winning is all on my agenda. That's all I want to do is win. How do you envision the fight? On, on How do you envision you win? How do you see that playing out in your mind? Depends on how he wants to play it, but I envision myself punching him in the face and him flying out the octagon. And then me walking off saying, Disneyland, baby! <laughs> What's your favorite ride? I haven't been there, so... Really? Yeah, my kids are coming, I'm excited about that, so, you know, it's going to be great. I, yeah, so it'll be a first for us, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about Disneyland. It's going to be cool. Do you, I mean, do you think Brock Lesnar is a, is a talented martial artist, or is he more just a, a showman? He's a, he's a talented at everything, Brock Lesnar. He's talented at selling shows. He's talented, he's a talented fighter. I mean, who does win the world title in four fights? I mean, he's an amazing athlete. Regardless, and I mean, pro wrestling and fighting are different, but uh, you can't really knock his accomplishments. But then again, 
So when, when you got the call for this fight, uh, what kind of fighting shape were you in? Well, I was in abs and everything, man. I was in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm just doing my job. When they say, it's a fight for you, then I say, great. If it gets a close to the title, then... But, yeah. I'm down. Is, is weight an issue for you this time? I know you've well, admitted in the past. It's... Yeah, I don't think so. I had not this time. I yeah, I don't think it'll be an issue this time. Are you, are you going to have to cut to, to make it, or are you already there? I'm going to have to cut. <laughs> <laughs> a lot? Wow, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> like, I've already been through the Stipe incident, and I don't want to go through that again, so. You know. What do you think about the weigh-ins being uh, in the morning? How the I think it's good so that you know, everyone can get rehydrated and get ready to fight. It. It's a hard ask to, to cut. So, I mean, look what happened to, to myself, you know, cutting 11 kilos. The day before the fight, I got tuned up. And um, it's hard to, to get energy back after losing the weight and then trying to come back. So, you know, it's not good for anybody. So you think that the six hours or whatever, that'll definitely be... Uh, well, it's better than, the, you know, what, uh, better than what it was before, wasn't it? So, yeah. you have any predictions for Stipe and Obrim? I don't really care. Thank you. Yeah, who, who knows? He knows he's going to win that fight, but uh, rematch. <laughs> Else? All right, we're good, Mark. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.